Yes, good dog. Good dog. Not too long ago, sniffer dog Riley specialised in tracking down missing people. Now she's turned her nose to a different task, detecting the agricultural pest, fruit fly. We've now transitioned to something that's pretty important to us locally, um, being a Riverland boy, um, into fruit fly detection. 15 fruit fly outbreaks remain in South Australia, all in the Riverland region. Daughter Gemma Wood has also trained five-year-old Cooley, Max, to help sniff out the pest. Fruit fly outbreak is affecting our friends and family um, day in and day out, so it it's really hits very close to home. Yes. Um, they are trained to locate the item and then drop to alert to us that they have found it. Um, but, you know, emotionally, we see the dogs really get quite happy with themselves because uh, they know what's coming next. This is an Australian first to have fruit fly detector dogs. Uh, it's not something that's happened before, so we're very proud that we're able to do this here in South Australia. The larvae used in training are sterile, making them safe to utilise outdoors. This is a really important tool, one of the many tools that we're utilising in the fight against fruit fly in our state. It's so important to our $1.2 billion horticulture industry. Max is going to be put to work next week in the Riverland. It's part of a four-week trial to detect fruit fly. If it goes well, there could be more dogs like Max out there to help protect the state from fruit fly. A new role for a farmer's best friend. Evelyn Leckie, ABC News, Adelaide.